Anime Crossroads 2011 was the first anime convention I ever attended. Does it still hold up four years later? This video is powered by UpcomingCons.com. For all things conventions, head over there. There is a link in the description. Anime Crossroads is a small con held in the Wyndham on the west side of the Indianapolis area. This was the con's first year under new ownership and marked the first time they moved the con from December to February. The date change really didn't change all that much about the con. Though it did feel, to me, like there were less people this year. I don't actually have any idea what the overall attendance was compared to last year, so I may be 100% wrong about this but my group and I all felt that there were less people there than normal. I still think the new location for this con is an improvement over the old hotel, but this hotel did seem to have some strange issues with getting pretty cold until you go into a panel room where it would be overly hot. But on the good side, this hotel has a small shop where you can get food, a little restaurant bar type thing, as well as a concessions area that's set up by the dealer's room, so no one should go hungry. Starting off on Friday, nothing really started until pretty late in the day. So next year, if you're planning to rush out and get there early, don't worry about it, you won't miss anything. This isn't necessarily a complaint, as this is sort of to be expected from a small con. I personally had some big problems with registration but I may have been a special case due to me having a press badge and not a normal attendance badge. As I stood there for around an hour waiting for them to figure out if I'm allowed to have a badge or not, I saw a lot of people go through with no problem at all. So as far as I know, normal registration was just fine. Opening ceremony started around a half an hour late, but it was okay because Across still has one of the best opening ceremonies of any convention I've ever reviewed up to this point. A lot of them are slow and drag on, but Across starts it off with an amazing AMV for the con, which can be found in the description to this video, and then doesn't waste any time introducing the guests and getting us back out to enjoy the con. Speaking of guests, we felt as though their guest list wasn't as good this year as it has been in past years. Yes, there were some pretty interesting people there, and voice actors with some pretty big roles, but overall, it just felt like the guest list had declined from previous years. On a good note, the dealer's room and artist alley were about the same as they were every year, which is good. I've always thought that Crossroads has one of the best dealer's rooms for a convention of its size, and that still held true this year. One of my group's biggest problems this weekend all stemmed from the panels. It started with their guidebooks not having very many descriptions for the panels. There were descriptions for a few of the big panels put on by the con, but no fan panels had descriptions at all making you have to guess if you might be interested in the panel or not. Then, when we found panels we thought we might like and went to them, we found tons of time changes. Pushing the panels back is one thing, but a few panels we wanted to see got moved forward with almost no warning. We would show up and it would be ending. This happened to us more than once during the weekend. On top of this, it seemed as though there just weren't a lot of good panels happening at all. Also, this con's arguably best panel from past years, Ask an Anime Character, was completely gone. Unfortunately, it gets even worse from here. On Saturday, my girlfriend was running a panel called Horror Gaming with Stella. In this panel, she was just going to hook her computer up to a projector and play horror games as people watch. When she applied for the panel, she told them she needed a projector that used HDMI. When we got to the panel room full of people waiting to see the panel, we were told they didn't have projectors that do HDMI. All of their equipment was extremely out of date, and nobody warned us ahead of time. They told us the only way we could make it work is to go to the store and buy a part that they should have had to begin with. I may not have mentioned all this in this review, but while we were there trying to get everything to work, we had others telling us that they had huge problems with the equipment and the staff when they were trying to run their own panels earlier in the weekend. One guy we talked to even said that he had a panel, but that for some reason they wouldn't put it on the schedule for the weekend. So when he had the panel, no one showed up because nobody knew it was happening. If you're planning to have a panel next year that uses any type of technology, good luck. I hope this is fixed by next year. All in all, this is just one example of the extreme disorganization that plagued this con this year. 
I should also mention the cosplay contest. It was interesting because they did a few things very right, but for everything they did right, there was something they did wrong. First of all, it did start on time, which is actually a pretty big deal considering how late some of these will start. Also, the judging was done very quickly, so people didn't have to sit and wait all day to find out who won. But there were problems. Right when we were let into the room, we were yelled at and told where we had to sit. This was because they wanted to make sure they could fit everyone in. But the room wasn't even close to full when everyone from the line made it in. Just let people sit where they want and then fill in the extra seats later. These things aren't fun if you can't enjoy them with your friends. Don't forget, we're all here to have fun. Once we were all seated, the staff just acted very disorganized and almost as though they didn't fully know what they were doing. This would have been okay, but the contest itself was just kind of boring. This was not the cosplayer's fault. Everyone in the contest did great, but the lack of music and interesting lighting can really make a difference. Also, the actual time for people showing cosplay was less than 15 minutes. Maybe try to give us a little more filler to fill your time slot. Though in their defense, they did try by having things like the maids doing a dance. Normally, I would let something like this slide, but I've been going to Anime Crossroads cosplay contests for years, and this was the worst one I've seen out of all of them. I feel that the con should improve every year, and this was not an improvement. Just to drive the point home, here's a clip from this year's contest. Abby. And she is cosplaying Chihiro from Spirit Away. Yeah. 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 And she's gone six times before. And it only took her like two days. Wow. <laughs> and here's one from last year's contest. As a Sith warrior. You can't see everything I'm talking about just from these clips, but surely you can see the difference things like lighting and a little music can make. The size of this con is small. The location gets an 8.5 out of 10. This location actually isn't bad for this convention. It's pretty much the exact right size for it. But the heating problems did become a bit annoying, and some of the panel rooms could be a bit too small. Organization gets a 6 out of 10. Nothing felt as though it was organized very well this year. The guidebooks, panel times, some registration issues. It really felt like they needed to slow down and think everything out a little more before next year. The dealer's room gets a 9 out of 10. It was a great dealer's room for the size of this con, and I'm pretty sure there was something in there for everyone. The game room gets a 0 out of 10, as there was no game room. Do know that there was a tabletop gaming room, but as far as tabletop gaming goes, I don't judge it in my reviews as I know nothing about tabletop gaming and it would be unfair for me to judge them. But this is crazy that this con has no video game room at all. When I first started going to this con, they had a pretty nice video game room. Then last year it was just arcade games and now it's gone altogether. Guests get a 7 out of 10. Like I said, there were a few interesting guests but it seemed like it was less than normal for this con. Please look into getting more guests next year. Panels get a 4 out of 10. There seem to be countless problems with panels this year, from time changes to not having many good panels to start with, and everything else I went on and on about earlier. Staff gets a 7.5 out of 10. The staff was pretty split for me. Some of them were extremely helpful in every way, but others were just plain rude. I don't want to get into the story of my registration right now, but the main staff member I had to deal with was unbelievably rude, and I felt as though the staff running the cosplay contest could have acted better as well. But in their defense, running the cosplay contest is very stressful. In the future, just try to be a bit nicer to attendees. We're all there just to have a fun weekend and get along. Rave gets an 8 out of 10. I didn't talk a lot about the rave this time because I had so much else I wanted to get out, but the rave was pretty good. It was a step up from what happened last year, 
Greg Ayers is a pretty good DJ and played nerdy music that we could all get into. The only real problem we had was the lighting setup. The lights they had were pretty much eye level and were unbelievably blinding. Other than that, it was a pretty good rave. It really pains me to give anything about Anime Crossroads a low score, because this con holds a special place in my heart. But I decided to give an honest review, not the one I thought people wanted to see. I hope people understand I am in no way trying to bash this con. I love this con. This is all meant to be constructive criticism that hopefully the people who run the con can take to heart and use to help improve the con next year. This was definitely an off year for Anime Crossroads, and hopefully that's all it was, an off year. I'll be there next year, and I really hope I can see this con return to being as great as it has been in the past. Don't forget, just because a con gets a low score doesn't mean you can't have a ton of fun there. Cons are what you make of them. But for now, I sadly have to give Anime Crossroads 2015 a 6.5 out of 10.